All right. So, like any other country in the world, the Netherlands was hit hard by COVID-19 virus back in March this year. The result of this pandemic is that many businesses have gone bankrupt by the commercial effects that are caused by this pandemic. For example, the tourism sector was hit hard and unfortunately many restaurants and many bar owners had to close their businesses. Also, the event industry did get a big hit. In our industry, the critical communications industry events like AWC Las Vegas, critical communications world in Madrid initially were moved to a date later in the year. However, unfortunately, timing was not on the side as the virus is still quite active and as the health of the visitors could not be guaranteed, these events are now being presented as virtual events. At the same time, many manufacturers produced videos on how to clean their two-way radio devices or smartphones, like this one, like this one and this one. And other published statements on their websites with a message that as a result of the virus, shipments of critical communication devices have been affected, read, delayed, because of the unavailability of the goods, components, coming from China. Okay, back to here and now. All right, let's move this aside. So, this cardboard box has been traveling many, many, many kilometers. And I'm extremely happy that finally this cardboard box has arrived at my office. Well, <laughs> it's not really my office. It's, it's also the office of my wife. And with the office of my wife, I actually mean her nail studio. So I hear you saying nail studio. Yes, nail studio. Since more than 23 years, my wife runs a business as a professional nail artist. She creates some of the most beautiful nail extensions, nail art for some 80 dedicated customers. Well, that's a side, that's something different. But as a professional nail artist, from time to time, she follows trainings and refresh courses and she visits wholesalers where she gets inspiration of other nail stylists and when on holiday, just like when we visited Dubai some two years ago, she visits colleagues abroad in order to learn how they are using different techniques and different tools. Well, this has nothing to do with radio communications whatsoever, but as a result of the coronavirus pandemic, just like my video business, she had to close her business for almost three months. So when the Dutch government allowed hairstylists, nail salons to be open again, many of their loyal customers came back. Well, not all of them. Suddenly, some customers were not as loyal as expected. That's meant a drop of income of about 30%. In addition to the drop of turnover, she had to invest cleaning materials, PPE, personal protection equipment, products like face masks and facial shields. So when searching for professional face shields, we tried some examples from local manufacturers, but unfortunately we didn't succeed very well. Until I found out that Savox, the radio communications accessory manufacturer, was producing a professional face shield under the name Silenta. So Silenta has about 50 years of experience in manufacturing, developing reliable and comfortable hearing protectors for the industrial, military and well, free time needs. So for Savox, this was the ideal partner to offer a complete portfolio of facial protection in combination with Savox hearing solutions like remote speaker microphones, voice amplifiers, covert solutions and tactical headsets. So Savox made it happen for Ardita to wear a professional face mask that was step one. And the other support we received was from Hytera. So the critical communications yes, manufacturer? Yes, that's Hytera, the critical communications manufacturer. So, and this is exactly where this box comes into the picture.
and that box has been provided to us by Hytera. And in that box, there are the 2000 face masks actually that Hytera delivered us. Um, and this is Anita, that's my wife. And you just said goodbye to one of your customers, right? Yes. And you're still wearing, she's still wearing the face shield and the face mask. So this is the whole set you're using when you're, you're, when you're working with, with a customer, right? Yeah. And, your, and your gloves and, and the gloves, of course. Yeah. Is that easy? It's not easy, but it's more comfortable than the ones I used before. Um, I got a lot of space between the shield and my glasses. But there was another face shield that we received actually, and that's, that's, that's this one, right? So let's take a look. Let's put this one over here. That's also a face shield of Silenta, but that works differently, is it? It was not comfortable. So why is it not comfortable? It's a, it's a band and this is a whole thing on my head, so it makes it more light. Okay. Are you using that whole set for the rest of your career? I hope I can get rid of the shield, but the mask and the gloves, I think we need them and the glasses. And that means that Agnita has created a very safe environment for herself and for her customers. All right, but there is more to this. Let's quickly talk about the flexibility of the companies that are offering products and solutions within the critical communications industry. Nowadays, in order to stay ahead of the competition, companies need to adopt changes much faster than ever before in order to make things happen. Decision-making processes need to be updated and speeded up and so on. At the same time, it's essential not to lose focus on what the customer really wants. What I want to say with this is that this pandemic also created opportunities for those companies that are flexible, who are open to think out of the box. So when I read that Hytera installed a complete production line of facial masks, I was kind of triggered. But at the same time, I was not surprised about the fact that the company could support this rapid change. In multiple interviews over the last decades that I had with Hytera representatives, I already found out that the company was introducing products and solutions much quicker than any other company in the field of critical communications. This caused a lot of awareness and it resulted in the huge growth of the company. But there's more to this. Let's quickly go back in time. So when Chen Quingzhou started his two-way radio business in Shenzhen with a few employees back in 1992, one of his dreams was to grow faster than anybody else. And the result? Across the last decade, Hytera has evolved from a private company with less than 2,000 staff to become a private listed company with a market capitalization of $4.5 billion, now employing nearly 10,000 employees over 50 subsidiaries and offices around the world. So what's the result of all of this? For example, Hytera has offered critical communication solutions for major events like the London 2012 Olympics, the Sochi Winter Olympics and the APEC 2016 Hangzhou G20 Summit. On top of that, the company fulfills its social responsibilities and played an active role in rescue and relief operations happened in recent years like the Wenchuan earthquake in 2008, the Japan tsunami in 2011 and the Mexico earthquake in 2017. And now, in relationship to that, the company is taken the next step in social responsibility and has offered facial masks to many non-profit organizations and governments in order to show their dedication in helping those who need it. Until now, I always thought that many companies within the field of critical communications were not able to adapt their product portfolio quickly enough as it takes a lot of time to develop and launch new products and solutions. However, Hytera is a clear example showing that it is possible to shift the focus of the company towards a complete new offerings while continuing the original focus of the production of radio communication solutions. What I want to say actually, I want to thank Hytera for not only supporting those large organizations, I want to thank Hytera for supporting my wife's business and the continuous relationship that I have with the company for the last 10 years.
there are a lot of documents necessary to make sure that the face masks are arriving in the Netherlands. Um, there are about nine documents that need to be signed or approved and shipment is from China to the Netherlands is really not that easy. So I'm really hoping, and take a look at all of these documents, uh, I'm really looking forward to, to receive the shipment within approximately one half a week from now, maybe two weeks, uh, hopefully a little bit sooner. 2,000 face masks. That's a whole box. And uh, we are really, really, really very happy with that. It's, now I get it, the elastic is too strong, so it's not really that comfortable. I can imagine why she prefers this one. This should be the ideal setup. Oops. Don't drop it on the ground. I really don't hope I have to work this way. Darling! Are we going home?